Warning. The following games are intended for mature audiences over the age of 18. These games may contain some material that many parents would not find suitable for children and may include intense violence, sexual situations, coarse language, and suggestive dialogue. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there everyone, and welcome back to another poorly made episode of Let's Badly Play Hunt Down. I am your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 8. And this time around, we're going deep into the sewers to go after Hard Knock Murdoch, a guy who looks like he's not all here. He kind of looks like... I don't know. I think he looks like someone stole his Lunchables or something. Something ain't right. Something ain't right with this boy. Hard Knock Murdoch is located in the sewers. His crimes are murder, robbery, and crimes against humanity. That's never a good sign. When the misconducts are out of options, they rely on highly decorated World War III Elite Forces veteran Murdoch. He's sure to be maniacal, unbalanced, and heavily armed. So this guy might actually have a history with our character John Sawyer, who also fought in World War III, as he stated in the previous episode. Now, I'm going to say that when I first started playing this game, Hard Knock Murdoch was pretty much one of the first really hard bosses. Like, every boss I had fought to that point was difficult because I hadn't learned their patterns yet. And that's what this game is all about. Just pattern memorization. Pattern memorization. I can English. Yes, I can. And, um... Murdoch is different. He's... He's unhinged, unbalanced. He has a pattern, but it's also kind of wild. So, it was just the first really difficult boss fight for me. Hopefully I won't die, but probably yes. Anyways, our objective is this time, kill 30 enemies, find the collector, blah blah blah. There's only 30 enemies, so this might not be as long of a level. We'll see. So let us begin. That mullet gets me every time. You know which one I'm talking about. You see it too. Engage. No secrets? No secrets. Yet. Now I don't need a bath until next year. Yeah, let's use the D-pad and not the not the diagonal pad. These guys usually won't jump into the water because it'll slow them down. Usually. Cut this short. Sometimes, not always. Hey, there's our first stand. Show the way. Dash collector. That is a bazooka. That is a bazooka. Okay. That almost went poorly. It's showtime. Don't want to mess with the misconducts. Is that a hit? Did, did I hit him? Oh! Oh! Ooh, shakalaka. Okay. You all saw how close that was. I also feel like there should be something up here, but I don't know where it is, and we're just gonna move on. Checkpoint. This is also the first time that we see his car is damaged from following us. It'll get worse as the game goes on. Also, ah, uh, yes. Here we go. Oh, there is health over here. Cool. Thank you. 
Damn, just missed. It's all right. This will finish him off. Or me. One or the other. See, I called it. I got finished off. If you can't afford all common services, spare! Damn it. I gotta stop doing that. Don't grab that yet. Oh, yes. Please, something that will make my life infinitely easier. If I can get up to it. If I can get up to it. Come on down, boys. Two. Don't bother saving him, just use him up. Bye bye now. I said bye bye now. Oh, Jesus. Oof, alright. Sometimes when you do that dash, sometimes it's a downward dash. Order is restored. Sometimes it's a down dash, sometimes it's a diagonal Static dash. It's a little connected. tricky. It's a little tricky when it, oof, just just oof. Jet point. Hustle up, will ya? It's friggin' dark down in here. Gotta watch out for booby traps. Mines! Damn it. Alright, that was my fault. Yes. Yeah, they don't set off their own minds. I thought it set up. Oh my god. I'm gonna die again. Maybe. There it is. Well, I didn't set that one off at least. Alright, be more aggressive. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Return to sender. That's a rocket launcher. Rocket launcher was for sale. No, actually, I want this. And guess what? It's boss time. Fire in the hole. 
Bounty collected. Okay, or, you know, I just totally and completely put him down like it was nobody's business. <laughs> Here I am talking this up like, yeah, it's been three weeks since I played. This is going to be a hard fight. And then I just put him down. So, yeah, trying to stay behind cover with him is difficult. Like, you want to stay in that downright corner there. Because once he starts lobbing grenades, shit gets crazy. Also, uh, you may have heard the little beep beep. Yeah, there is a, um... There is a mine located next to that full health item. Very easy to miss. Oh well, that will do it for this episode, everyone. We put Hard Knock Murdoch down. Unfortunately, didn't get any kind of interesting dialogue between him and Sawyer, which is kind of a disappointment. Because, I mean, it's only mentioned twice in this game that there are only two real mentions, technically three, of World War III. Two of them belong to Sawyer, one of them being in his bio, and the other with him saying this is worse than World War III. And then the other is Hard Knock Murdoch's bio, saying that he was in World War III. So it's like, they should know something, or I don't know, maybe Sawyer will at least get tired of him screaming about the horrors, the horrors. I, hell, even I was starting to have flashbacks. Anyone who's ever played Mega Man X7 knows about... What is his name? Flaming Hyena Guy. Just, you'll know what I'm talking about if you look it up on YouTube. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again real soon.